Um, in general, season five has been one, one of Blizzard's better seasons. There's a lot of things working here. While there's a lot of looming issues with the game that season five hasn't directly solved, I think the direction of the game is improving. And this is the first time I've ever made this video where I think there's more good that came with this season than bad. Greetings everyone, it's Alexa, and actually <laughs> I'm, I'm very confused. Not not confused, but I'm surprised that this is actually the first time people are actually being positive about Diablo 4. Now, Rex, I think, has generally always been more on the positive side because he just enjoys the game than bad. But if you, for example, compared with Quinn, right, who always said default bad, and this whole meme of default bad has been has sort of been going on for, for many years, not many years, but ever since it launched. And it seems that finally, finally, actually, the tides are turning. That's what it seems like, anyway. People are actually enjoying the game. And this has started since Season 4, really. And I only started at Season 4. I did not play the seasons before that. And I had a blast ever since. And for me, it's a great game overall. But I'm very much aware that if you have not enjoyed the game for a year now, then it's going to be tough to sort of let go of that bias. But I think what we learned here is that Diablo 4 is now finally out of beta. Because let's be honest, the things that are happening right now, until season 5, I think, this season sort of, I think, marks the point where they finally can start focusing on new content and mechanics. Because the base game, to me seems mostly done, seems mostly settled, right? In season four, they had to fix all the loot, right? This is now done. We can I actually get good loot now and good items. So an itemization is actually a thing now in the game properly. Season five balanced a lot of these items to be actually good. And they're going in the direction of actually having fun with it, making crazy, stupid, crazy items, which is what we want, right? We want crazy, fun items that are over the top, and make builds insane. Just getting, I don't know, 500 extra damage on a build, that's just, or like on an item, that's boring. We want to have crazy shit. But I mentioned it in Anna Cake's um, stream. You should know her, right? Great, great lady streaming Diablo. And it's just so weird to see people being positive. But I think it's a great sign because that means that the base game is finally done. Now, officially, the game has launched a year ago in, I think, a beta state. Last Epoch has the same problem, by the way. It's still in beta in my eyes, even though it is a full launch already. It's a 1.0 release. We are at 1.1 already. Um, but the core mechanics are not even in the game yet, I think, personally. Like, Last Epoch doesn't even have a transmog system for now. For example, the campaign isn't even finished, so that's not a finished game, okay? Even though they launched the game and that's fine, but it's not a finished game. And the same was with Diablo up until now. Items didn't work properly, items weren't actually good, um, and a lot of base things are done now. You can you now have enough endgame content to actually farm your things properly and quality of life improvements, etc, etc. So this is now actually good. So let me know what you actually think of the game. Do you think it's great or do you still or think it's, it's a problem? And this is also, I'm not, I'm not actually going to go over all the things that he mentions here. He is, of course, correct. Um, there's a bunch of things that have problems. Um, but I think generally these are smaller ones, smaller issues they can address. But I want to see what you actually think, what you think should be in the game. Now, I personally have my own opinions, which I will share in a second. But I want you to go in the comments right now, pause the video, go into the comments and type in what do you want to see in D4 so it's actually fun again for you. I think it's fun already personally, but maybe it's not for you. So let me know what, what it is that you need to have more fun with Diablo 4. Now, for me personally, there, there's a bunch of things. First of all, obviously after PoE, I want to see some sort of town building thing. That is so great. It has been missing in these kind of games for so long. And uh, just an extra mechanic, mechanic where, even with like the shipping. And you can do this in pretty much any game, right? That would be so cool to have this in Diablo 4 as well, that you get insane items from your shipping or any other method. Doesn't has to be some sort of shipping, could be something else, I don't know. But where you also build your own town in, in, in your game and as a sort of 
and you're micromanaging it. And that's just cool. I like these kind of games. It's like Eno, right? And the POE, this is in, absolutely fantastic. So that's the one thing I, I want first. The second thing is Armory. I think this is what he means with loadouts here. And that is what you have for your transmog already. You want to have this for your builds. So you can save a build as it is with the items. And if it, if it need be, then put the item in a certain stash so you can actually use it somewhere else. So you can't re um, temper them or whatever. So they are gone once you put them in the armory. That's fine. But you can quickly switch between builds. I would love that a lot, actually. Because if there is a change to an item or something, I would just want to get back to trying this build. Um, for example, now with, or with a new item. And don't want to have to farm all the items again, look through all the items, respec everything. That just takes forever. Now, of course, if you are making build guides, that can be useful because then you have to look through the all the um, sort of skills again. So maybe you notice a, a, an issue with the build and you can fix it. But generally, Armory, I mean, D3 has it. Of course, we want that. Simple. I also wish, this. if anything, this could the soonest come with an expansion and I don't think that the Vessel of Hatred will have it. I would love to fight in the heavens again in some shape or form. I know this is a sanctuary. It's not actually in the real world law-wise. Uh, it's an extra sort of world, but um, it's all in hell all the time. Of course, the, the map itself is sort of diverse in how it is set up. You have snow, you have like palm trees and sand or whatever. Um, but still, fighting in the heavens would be cool, personally. I think that would be very cool. And what I really want now, now that we have sort of the base core game done, and we're out of beta. Now we need to get new mechanics. The Infernal Halts are a new mechanic, but it's it's just a waving. That's the laziest new mechanic you could have thought of. It's not actually. It's actually not bad. They did it well. It does feel like actual waves piling on top of you, which is cool. Um, it's not just some dudes attacking you through waves. It's actually they're all piling on you. It's cool. They actually did it very well for a wave mechanic. But it's nothing crazy. It's been there. It's been done 50 million times. Now I want new mechanics. The base game is mostly done, from I think, from how it operates. Now give me new stuff. So with coming seasons, we need new fancy shit. Obviously, I don't know if they actually can make new classes in seasons or if it has to be an expansion, but that's the next thing you want to have, obviously, is more classes. More classes, more win. We need more classes. The Paladin... I know people want them badly, but from what I've heard law-wise, it doesn't really fit because they apparently all were killed, the Crusaders and the Paladins. But then again, it could just be one survivor, right? It could just be one survivor of them that upholds it. What I desperately want to see is some sort of righteous mage, like the Templar in, in Path of Exile. I had a lot of fun with that, a strength int character that is just buffed caster so to speak and it has sort of the, the righteous thing fighting evil in the that would fit that would fit so well in this game i would enjoy this a lot so mixing attributes specifically in classes i would like to see that because right now you have the sorcerer which is in you have your barbarian which is strength right if you rogue which is dex then druid is sort of already a mixture a little bit of like um int and strength but i want to see more of a caster version that is tanky and I think you can easily do this. Now, I don't know how much overhead it actually is to make a new class. Considering we're only getting the first new class now with the expansion, I would guess it's quite a lot of work in Diablo 4 um, because they have so much overhead with that, like all the localization, the lore around it. And again, it has to be voice lined. The voice lines have to be in different languages also. Everything has to be translated. So that's a lot of work also marketing wise, right? Um, so I doubt we're going to see many new classes in Seasons, but it would be lovely if they now just pump out new mechanics, classes, etc. going forward, right? That would be cool. And especially now that they're actually going crazier with the items, I think they should also bring a really crazy class. Like, take some risks. Go with something really insane that is absolutely... Maybe something that is... I'm not going to do it. Something that is overly... Not, not complicated, but like... If I think of, for example, Dota 2 with the Invoker, that was a very complicated class to play for most people, or the Rune Master in the last epoch, um, where you have the runes set up by what you cast. 
So it's not like complicated, but it's more complicated than the casual player usually plays in these things. Now, I don't know if Diablo or Blizzard really want to do that because Diablo, again, is still mostly focused to be a beginner, beginner's game, but um, something like that is completely crazy and off the top because that pulls people actually in. If they want to try something new, that is crazy. So yeah, take risks, Blizzard. Now is your time. You have to, the core game done mostly, except for, for, for small things, it's mostly done. Now you got to bring new content and go crazy on insane stuff. That's what you got to do now to keep people playing. But let me know what you think, what you want to see desperately in the game, what you absolutely need. Type away below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.